the half inch ply one. Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. <laughs> Shh, Siri. Good morning, guys. So today we are bringing you another Van Bill video. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, so um, we are actually working on our, it's going to be a sofa slash uh, Kita bathroom. Kita is our cat, just in case you were wondering. Isn't she cute? Look at her. She's adorable. We, uh, we have already constructed the frame, as you can see. So uh, we just took some two by twos. We got the little cutout here for the cat. Um, but we're also trying to make this into a special kind of storage area as well. Yeah. So the plan is um, this area over here, the small area is going to be the cat bathroom. Um, and then this area over here is going to be storage. So if you can see this back here, we actually have a couple of electrical outlet, a 120 volt and a USB um, port back here. And this is actually going to be two parts here. So it's going to be split here in the middle. The bottom is going to be storage for like our cat food, shoes, things like that, cat litter. And then the top portion is where we'll be able to um, store our electronics because we make videos and we have a lot of electronics. So um, in a van, there's tight space, so you don't really have a lot of place to put those. So we decided we would just make a little charging station pretty much here in the top. So those will go in and we'll just be able to lift the top and put our electronics in there. So fingers crossed it works out, um, but then we'll put a at some point a little pad on here and it'll be a seating area to go with our beautiful chairs here that we just put our swivels on last week you should check that video out so um we also angled this corner at a 45 degree um angle so that i don't slice open or hit the corner um every time i'm in that seat so i'm really curious to see we've never built anything like this before so i'm super curious to see how this turns out that was a mean look <laughs> I'm a mean person. All right, guys, so now we're running into issues with cutting straight lines. So since we don't have a table saw, um, we have been using something called the AccuCut to help, uh, help us. It's kind of just like a guide for your circular saw. Um, but I had a brilliant epiphany last night and um, kind of reverse engineered it in my brain. This took me a long time. So I figured if I just used a piece of wood as a guide and made sure it was level then, or it was square, then it should create a, a straight cut. So um, I then did a little bit of research on the internet and found out I wasn't as smart as I thought I was. Um, it's always the case. So, but we are gonna try to use this method in order to cut a straight line and avoid buying or begging for a table saw. Well, it's taken two days to put this little corner on and to get it measured out just right. So this is quickly becoming the most frustrating project on the van thus far. So we've changed the design like 15 times. Um, we have had problems cutting straight lines and it's uh it's coming along so it's my grumpy face yeah that's that's her i think we've this thing has beat us up for the past what three days this is, is, this day, is this day three or yeah this is day three i think yeah. that we've actually been getting our butt kicked by this so um but it's going to come along. Um, still not exactly sure what it's going to look like when it's finished, just because of the changes that we've made. But uh, fingers crossed, it turns out okay. Here, Sandy's painting. My mad painting skills. Mad painting skills. I like me some painting. So how does it feel to be working on the world's most technologically advanced <laughs> Piece of <furniture>. couch ever? <laughs> it feels so good. This thing has been a beast. That's what we'll name the sofa. The beast. The beast. 
People can come and sit on the beast. <laughs> Maybe we have our name for uh, the van now. We'll call her Beauty, and this can be the beast. Okay, so update on the beast. Uh, that's what we've dubbed this thing. I don't know if we mentioned it before because it has been a, a complete beast. We thought this project was going to take us a couple days to build this and we're we almost a week into it. Yeah, we're almost a week into it. So we decided to try to be fancy with the corner and of course we're doing a compartment for charging and like, yeah, it's a beast. <laughs> yeah, if you decide to build a piece of furniture for the first time, make sure you make it the most complicated thing you possibly can. Um, I think once we get it done, it's going to be nice, but um, we have bolted this down or L-bracketed it down to the floor using uh, two-inch uh, pretty beefy L-brackets. We've driven her since. I'm shaking it. It's not going anywhere, um, and I hope not because that would be bad news for everyone involved. Um, so we have our little space for Kita, our cat's bathroom. Um, there's going to be a, what do you call that? Door. A door. Door. We're using we're using complicated <laughs> vocabulary this morning. So um, and our little I don't know if you can see it or not. Well, you can see it now. But um, this is where our electronics are going to lie, and we have charging ports. So let's get this thing done. Okay, so the trim is done on the beast. Uh, She's looking kind of decent. Still looks kind of rough, but uh, Sandy's gonna get in here with some paint, some putty, a little bit of sanding, and we should be almost done. So now that we have the hinge on the door panel, Sandy is measuring out where we can put the finger access hole so we can easily lift it. Um, right now it sits flush with the top when we, when we put it in, so that's gonna be the only way to gain access to our super secret compartment. Super secret. Okay, so time to install our lid. We went ahead and applied, we got this long bracket or hinge. Um, we went ahead and installed it to the top. We actually had to go to Home Depot to get some screws um, because the ones that came with this were a little bit too long and we're going through the half inch plywood. Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. <laughs> Shh, Siri, just, just shut up. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, so now we've got it attached to that. So we're gonna attach it on the inside and fingers crossed that it works when it's together. It's hot again. <laughs> yeah, it's super hot. So the lid is on. It works great. Yeah, this thing, we thought, did we already say this? We probably did. But we thought it was going to take us a couple days. <laughs> yeah. It's it, been a week. It's been a week. <laughs> so um, all that's really left to do is uh, Sandy's going to do some. Yeah, I'm going to put in some wood putty kind of you know make it look good um, throw a last coat of paint on it um, on the trim and stuff that we just put on and we have two doors yeah so um might as well just tell you right now so i don't well, i'll just show you down here so we have two doors there's the area for the cat box that we'll put a door on and then there's the other cubby that's below our little um charging station we're gonna call it for all of our electronics um for some extra storage down there we're not going to put make the doors and put them on quite yet because we have not put our floor down in the van and we want to put the floor down just to make sure that those doors fit properly so we're not having to redo it later so we're going to kind of um, just put the coat of paint on and call it good at this point with this but um we'll finish up the putty and the paint show you a few shots yeah that's what we do finally done well almost we still have to do the doors and everything but we are actually really happy with the way that our sofa slash cat bathroom slash charging station slash storage unit the beast <laughs> has turned the out. beast <laughs> but um it looks really good we've got that um 
coat of white paint on it, we sanded it all down, it it looks, we're, we're very happy with it. It took us double the time we were anticipating, but... Yeah, a week. So if you're watching this yeah. and you usually expect a video from us on Thursday, then... This is why, because we ran over what we would normally do. Yeah, and that's why <laughs> you're watching the video today. But we wanted to at least have it um, completed before we did the video. We didn't want to leave you hanging, so... There it is. The beast. The beast. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Um, if you are enjoying our videos, please, please, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave us a comment below. Um, yeah, tell us things, talk to us. That's going to do it for this video, and until next time, stay, stay wonderful. wonderful. Call it a day.